From bizarre claims of taint meat to Muhammad Ali's shocking secret, it seems that every boxer has had allegations thrown against them. Some unfairly, others, well, we'll let you decide. Here are the best boxers accused of steroid use. First on our list today is the biggest and baddest boxer on the planet. The bald Brit with the stunning skill set, Tyson Fury. Whilst this guy is no doubt an unbelievable boxer, he hasn't exactly had the cleanest past. During his depression after becoming the unified champion for the first time, Fury frequently took cocaine. This guy was really sniffing the stuff on the regular. The drug abuse caused him to fail two drug tests. His response? Why shouldn't I take cocaine? It's my life, isn't it? I can do what I want. Yeah, I have done cocaine. Man, it was heartbreaking to see a great heavyweight like Fury slip into such a depression. Luckily, Fury has since turned his life around, is completely clean, and dominating the heavyweight boxing scene. However, Fury has also tested positive for the banned performance-enhancing drug Nadrolone. This came to light in 2015, just before Fury was set to fight rival Klitschko. The funny thing is, Fury mocked Usyk, accusing him of taking steroids, when he was taking PEDs himself. Fury hasn't failed a drugs test since though, so we can at least presume that he's no longer on any gear. I mean, his body doesn't exactly look steroid enhanced, know what I mean? Anyway, this next guy is a relative newcomer to the boxing scene, but has completely shaken up the sport starting beef with everyone. From Tommy Fury to Dana White, we're of course talking about Jake the Problem Child Paul. Now, whether you like or hate this guy, it's obvious he's a huge star right now, and he's definitely bringing some new fans to the sport. The YouTuber turned boxer made quite the career pivot, and had to work like hell to get in shape so he could step into the ring. But some people have suggested that his consistent body transformations are not quite natural. Big John Fury, for instance, said that Paul's beard is a cover-up for his long chin, which is a sign of PED abuse. However, that's all there really is to these allegations, since Jake has never failed a drug test and has openly said that he will take any test anytime, any place. If he follows through with this and takes a test before his next fight with Tommy, these accusations might be debunked. Maybe fighters should stick to throwing hands instead of throwing baseless accusations. He was out and out caught to be using steroids. We're talking about Sugar Shane Mosley. Now, in his prime, this guy was a menace. He was one of the only fighters to ever wobble Mayweather and had a stunning career overall. However, his legacy has been partially ruined because he stated that he took steroids in 2003. Now, to be fair to him, he didn't actually know that he was on the stuff. He trusted his team to give him the right supplements and nutrition, but his team ultimately let him down. Although, you would think that he would be aware of the substances he was taking. Maybe it's just an excuse, but we're not going to question you, Shane. The next boxer, however, had a horrible excuse for his test results. The beast from Mexico, Canelo Alvarez. This guy has beaten almost everyone that shared the ring with him, and throughout his career, has always been in immense shape. Like seriously, the definition in his physique is some of the most impressive the boxing world has ever seen. His stature, along with his insane athletic ability, have caused a few fans to accuse the guy of taking PEDs. And unfortunately, these allegations turned out to be true. During a recent drug test, it was found that Alvarez was taking a substance called clenbuterol. This isn't technically a steroid, but it is a substance banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency. Canelo claimed that the reason it came up on his test was because he ingested tainted Mexican beef. Sure, that's a believable story. The whole controversy surrounding Canelo has turned many fans off of the boxer and has even damaged his contention of the greatest of all time. <laughs> Talking of goats, you won't believe that this next fighter is on our list. We're talking about, unfortunately, the greatest boxer that has ever lived, Muhammad Ali. Now, for the most of this career, Ali was clean as they come. He let his skills do the talking. However, 
Toward the end of his career, when he wasn't in peak physical condition, it was found that he was taking a banned diuretic in an attempt to shed a few pounds before a fight with Larry Holmes. Ali was still allowed to fight, and this one banned substance clearly doesn't ruin his legacy as the GOAT. Not many people talk about it, though. But it is interesting that even the best boxers of all time have turned to drugs. Although I suppose even his body could only take so much damage without a little help. This next boxer is another contender for the GOAT title. Definitely the most famous boxer since Ali. A man who never lost. A man obsessed with money and victory, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Because this guy was so dominant, he's frequently been accused of taking steroids. But his biggest allegation came before his anticipated fight with Pacquiao. It was found that Floyd was using a banned IV injection to help prevent dehydration. However, this injection can also be used to mask steroid use, which of course got the haters talking. Mayweather responded to these allegations saying, I follow and have always followed the rules of Nevada and USADA, the gold standard of drug testing. Mayweather is a fighter with integrity, and arrogant as he is, it's unlikely that these allegations would be true, since there's no evidence. But then again, the whole point is that the injection can hide steroids from tests. Another fighter who's been accused of steroid use without evidence is the cruiser-turned-heavyweight monster Evander Holyfield. This guy made the terrifying jump from cruiser to heavyweight during his career, which is pretty damn huge. The cruiserweight category is capped at 200 pounds, 90.7 kg, whereas the heavyweight class is for those fighters heavier than that. Now, these kinds of massive gains aren't very common especially without any outside help, which naturally caused a host of allegations. Holyfield defended his corner to the nail, saying that, I do not use steroids. I have never used steroids. I resent that my name has been linked to known steroid users by sources who refuse to be identified in order to generate publicity for their investigation. I mean, you can kind of understand his frustration. If you're gonna accuse a guy of steroids, at least have some evidence to, you know, back it up. And I mean, I personally wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of this guy. Now, the last guy on this list is someone who every hardcore boxing fan adores. It's none other than Roy Jones Jr. However, what many fans forget is that this guy actually tested positive for PEDs during his career. In 2000, Jones was found being taking a drug called androstenedione. This particular drug massively increases your testosterone, allowing you to put on more muscle and push your body to new limits. Clearly unfair in the sports world then. So, what was Jones' alibi? It was in a supplement called Ripped Fuel that he was taking. Really? Maybe read the label next time, Jones? I know pre-workouts have a load of ingredients, but that mistake really tarnished your legacy, man. So, from tainted meat to Ali's secret use, those were the craziest times that boxers were accused of steroid use.